Hello, welcome back to some more Starcom Unknown Space. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, game just released into early access today. Uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, there are a couple of things here. A ship screenshot, uh, a couple of options changed. It allowed me to uh, load my, my old saves from the, the beta playthrough. Uh, but I am going to start a brand new game because uh, that is the best way to do it. <laughs> it keeps all their names. Uh, the problem is, is like, because I don't... Should have thought thought of the uh, thought of a better name because like if you let's see if he if it changed it if it still yeah it still puts the the Ganymede back. So we're gonna play through the the game here, uh, see what has changed, see is what see if uh, so, my ship's so small now. First set of orders: abandoned cargo ship has broken apart, spilled its cargo nearby. All right, good, 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 good. All, all of my all my stuff is okay mission details and hit the Z all right that's nice of you yes yeah, this game I, I I really really do enjoy and love this game uh, and I will probably probably be playing through I I, I played the beta pretty much to its completion uh, as far as I could, as far as it would let me anyway. Uh, and, uh, I didn't want to get any further into it because, well, first of all, I couldn't. Oh, I broke the ship. Sorry. Better you than me. Yeah, I noticed it just blew up part of their ship. Hey, can I, can I blow up the rest of their ship? No, not really. Not, not in any length of time that I want to spin around and do it. So this is a, this is just one of those games, I, I, I like, as soon as I, I saw a playthrough for this game, I went back bought the original game because I hadn't played it. Uh, I thought I had, but I, I had. Uh, and it just, it, it's an amazing game. Uh, I, I'm, you're going to, you're going to see a lot of, of me drooling about this game, uh, because I, I, if, if the dev would have sent me a key beforehand, or if he would have anything, I, I would have played the living crap out of this game. Uh, as an indie dev, uh, I do not have a problem paying for the game, and I did pay for the game. Uh, matter of fact, like, I bought it, it right now it's on, uh, 50% discount on Steam if you pick it up. I'm not sure how long that lasts because I wasn't worried about it. I didn't want the game downloaded. Um, the, uh, but I, it's usually for release, uh, usually a week or two. Uh, it, it's, uh... It, it, the games on Steam are usually on discount for for a little bit, um, so if you are looking for the game, uh, it is on sale right now. Uh, for the uh, that, let me let me back up. Nope, nope. Yeah, see, I had a feeling. The emergency part. Oh no, there was an emergency part. I'm, I'm having fun shooting fish in a barrel. I, I don't want to go in the emergency priority override because the uh, um, that's scary, and you're going to take me to an air, another area, and I'm not. I might have garbage ship. Then, wait, I already have a garbage ship. Never mind. All right, fine. We'll go to the emergency priority override. All right. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to spend a lot of time just just praising this game for its its awesomeness. Uh, part of the reason I wanted to start a new game over uh, is because there's a lot of areas that we visited that uh, a lot of the cities didn't have, uh, or that the uh, the planets didn't have stuff on them. 
And I have a feeling that once we kind of get going, we should end up with uh, slightly more uh, things to pick up along the way. Uh, urgent situation. Yeah, we received a beacon outside. That's critical. Nearby new tuning generators. Okay. Yeah, open the wormhole and blow up the space station. Got it. Uh, good ship. A lot of poppers. The closest dark up. Any questions? Nope. Activating the generators. This, this should go well for all of us. See, let's activate that bad boy there. Go. That's one of the stable. Really? That's just one of them? Huge amount of energy, but still 800 terawatts. 1.2 gigawatts. Oh, I don't know if I, I, if it was the beam or if it was me uh, hitting the, uh, the station, but I took a little damage there. Oh, I can't even shoot at him now. You know, you would think that whoever just punched it, uh, made a station like they're trying to as aluminum. Rerouting helm controlled the auxiliary a few more seconds. In you go. Warfield holding uh, warp is collapsing. Well, then go back through it. I don't. What? Go. Well, you are horrible at this game. Gotta make sure it was the size of the war was still there, but it's cost the size of a plink scale. Plink scale? I don't know. Some some space term probably. I just, I play video games. I, I, I work on computers. I, I don't know a lot about space. I haven't been there. Uh detected a Starcom beacon on the our scanners, marked its position on the HUD station. Alright, good. Let's go to the station. Hi, I'm a little station. How you doing? All right, Commander, you please. Uh, we have picked up the emergency beacon. I hope good chip log pop. A very small tip of very much larger reinforcements is coming soon. No, not really. Yeah, yeah, we may have problem. Yes, yes, we are. Doesn't seem that anything can be done about the you know, station. The ship has destroyed it. Just attacking us, they're not terribly powerful. Keep them at bay. Research posts. Okay, can do, will do. All all good. Alright, so we need to go to the shipyard. So part of the shipyard what we need to do is Nope, oh, we need a utility, we need a survey lander. So and then depending on whether like if I want to put this in the back, right? Like you can spin it around with A and D. So I can put it in there. I can put it on the side if I wanted to. I could put it in the nose if I wanted to put it in the back. I don't know. I don't know how important it is to not be blown off, but uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll try to keep it not being blown off. Uh, looks like none of that stuff we can do. Can we build anything else? Looks like everything's grayed out. Thanks. I appreciate it. Nope. We don't want to do that. Go back to operations. All right. We'll go back here. So go do some do some scanneroonies here. No anomalies. But yeah, so the the game you get you can build your ships. You can uh, if you don't know what this game is, if you haven't uh, played it before, if you don't know what it is, uh, it is is made by a little indie developer, uh, and they. Uh, it, it, it's it's an awesome game. If, if you're looking for a game like with space exploration and being able to build your own ship and kind of go get your own resources and things like that, this is this is a great great game to start with. Um, 
if uh if you're wanting to find out if it's you know worth your time or not uh i think it's worth my time um i think the game was like 16 dollars or something uh on sale right now and eventually the uh cruise mode yeah so oh look i don't have to hold my finger on the on the x button anymore uh so if you're looking for a game to uh just kind of explore and, and build your ship and be able to build it any way you want to uh it, it's it's amazing So it, it, you know, it's obviously a, a, an older, not older game. It's a brand new game, but it's an older style. This point, abandoned by Outpost Paranoid Day of Unearth, the alien object marked is similar to the artifact to the nearest Solano, but the kind of conduct the evaluation of the professional efficiency and rush their staff materials and object work life. All right. Good. good. Um, but yeah, so it, it reminds me of obviously all the old games, you know, uh, Star Control and like, I, you know, the, the exploration aspect of like Mass Effect where you get to, to fly your ship around and, you know, you can upgrade your ship and uh, like if you watch the end of, uh, I had a playthrough for the, the beta and if you guys are interested in seeing that, please go back and watch that. Uh, but the the playthrough of the beta basically allows uh, to see like I I, I want to say I had like five or six double double turreted guns on the on the ship like it was just ripping through things. Um, I was trying to get missiles open, uh, and I think uh, oh. I think I hurt my people. I don't remember him saying that my people got hurt. I lost the alien device. Who? Who's who's hurt? Oh, what? Why is my command team health at zero percent? Did it just not want me to do anything else until I go back to the space station? Maybe I missed something when I read it. Maybe they all got dead. I have to go back and, and rewatch to see see if I did something or if it's just uh, scripted for me to go back to the station and keep me from doing other things. It's quite possible it's scripted to the to keep me from putting me on rails for a little bit, which I'm always really happy about. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Given our stories here, ship will need to take an out outsized role for your experience. Yay! Oh, good. Alright, so we got that. Chance to upgrade good ship while it pop. I have so many questions. Nope, I want to go shoot things. Uh, shipyard. Alright, so let's, let's move this guy up here. That's a good place for it. Uh, let's go, let's go energy. Let's, let's get us a micro reactor. Oh, I don't know. You're not gonna let me put those there, are you? The problem is, is I don't have a lot of resources to, to be able to get a lot of things on here. Uh, so, uh, it looks like we can do a couple more. So, I have room enough for one more gun. The problem is, is uh, one more gun, even though it sounds like a really good idea. 
Uh, it may not be an optimal idea simply because uh, the uh, uh, j just the battery or power requirements. Uh, so we may I may leave it for now, uh, leaving it with just that. Um, and the, then it would look weird because uh, I have the research projects. Uh, let's see, notify me that the defense reasons we're redirecting our priorities to the place of the lab to the disposal. Figure of speech, you're not to break anything. All right, I'll find it. All kinds of notifications. I apologize if those are coming through. Uh, I'll do my best. Sure. Best most advice. Thanks. New directives, objective. I'm kind of given. Uh, okay. I'll meet you in the lab. Okay. We'll do. So let's go to the research lab. So this is just kind of walking us through the beginning here of different things. Um, I do know uh, shows technologies available. So recommend researching turbo thrust. So they, they, she wants me to uh, do turbo thrust, uh, which will basically speed us up. Uh, but I also know down here there is um, artifact spotters. So every crew with at least two astro uh, moderately increases the probability of finding artifact drops. Uh, Skill Beyond 2 provides no additional uh, things. So basically, I'm going to to beeline for that because I have a feeling that the earlier I get that in the the, the playthrough the better off that I am so I'm gonna go ahead and do research resource spotters right uh, so resource spotters every crew with at least one astro increases the expected value of uh, resource drops by 15% so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this I'm gonna research the tech and then uh, Impressed if you didn't break anything. Thanks. Uh, and then as soon as I can get artifact spotters, I'll do that. And then as soon as I can uh, raise uh, my my people's skills, I'm putting two points into everybody's uh, our, our, uh, astro skills. Uh, because that way, I, usually uh, artifacts give me resource points. The more resource points I have, the better I can do in this tree. So this is one of those things that uh, I I think is a lot better to uh, to have done early. We'll see how it works out for me. One of the uh, only vessels in space will command crew to maximize efficiency. To, oh, good. Some team members have evacuated from the outpost, have volunteered, had a crew roster. Bit green. Speaking of experience. Detected some ship movement around nearby gas giant. It also appears some activity the surface of one of those moons. Uh, check it out. Similar readings, Red Raiders have been. We'll do. All right. This sounds like a. This sounds like a plan. So with just the two, the two, uh, we'll be able to have a more sustained. So it looks like we're pretty much keeping up with. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this. Go to our map. Hit M also. And then, like I said, that's the map. Unfortunately, it doesn't really give you a grand scale. Because once you get to a certain point, like, stop. You can't really get a sense of movement anymore. Please drive directly into the, the shooty shooty bing bings. Oh, it, it set me on fire a little bit. I don't like being on fire. It hurts. Please don't shoot at me. Please, no. I know I shot at you first, but... It was in self-defense, I promise. All right, let's see. 
surveyor repairs in progress. Oh, so putting the surveyor on the front of the ship may have been a bad plan. It's like catching on fire. We'll move it off to the side of the ship at some point. Partially buried uh, ring. Shaped artifact, roughly 100 meters in diameter, while technology. Technologically advanced, the structure shows signs of uh, design and progress. As yesterday, it was experimental device or prototype. Yay, prototypes! So these here, uh, so uh, basically the way this works is now you'll see uh, this. I have a 67% outcome of the best outcome. Now, I don't know where that, if I have to, you know... It, it, I just needed to get above 33%. I'm good or whatever. Process turns out to be extremely uh, surprisingly tricky. The artifact reacts to energy from landers in unexpected ways. Careful attention. Commander Gleese was able to keep the power high enough to extract the data but not damage the artifact or the lander. Yay, 50 points. So that should give us enough to, uh, to hopefully get our uh, get our other item that are the uh, the anomaly the anomaly searching for it. Like don't get me wrong, like I'm all about guns and and armor and protecting the ship and you know uh, you know the best defense is a good offense. Uh, that, that stuff is all all really <laughs> really good and important. But whenever you give me a chance to get more research points earlier, it, that that seems like a good direction to go. So that we're going we're going pure research ship. By pure research ship, I mean I'm going to pick up those two items and then I'm going to go into the into the offensive grid. <laughs> Massive artifact. Touch it. Like it, the the turbo the turbo engines are nice because it does help you fly around faster. Uh, but after you examine the data, or the object the outpost you found, nearby effect is wormhole generator. Uh, object allows us to communicate with it. Last piece of the puzzle I used Dr. from King. That should very green. Encoded in the mathematical formula describe, uh, describing warp space. You know, in particular formula for uh, where location X as kind of a key. My hypothesis is that if we input the formula into the new wormhole generator, it will create a wormhole at this point in space. By me, we, meaning you, should test this hypothesis by activating the nearby artifact. All right. Best. Uh, so basically, yeah. So let's go. Let's go jump through the thing. Report of the findings to me. The nearby ring. Why? Why did the Why did the team report? Like I, I'm the commander. I'm supposed to be reporting. Transport gateway built to entity culture referred as the remnants. Uh, their technology made a three opening the wormhole from our side and in, in any event as far advanced anything we have. Best gate endpoint of the gateway, you can find resources of the Red Raider ships, neutralize them, neutralize them if possible. Top priority, find a similar run of artifacts or technology. Alright, we're on it. Let's go. Uh, all for now. I'm done talking to you, dude. It's space, the final frontier of this stuff. Oh, it does. But yeah, so uh, th this is the like a, an awesome game. Uh, and if you guys haven't haven't looked at it, haven't seen it. Um, there's a there's quite a bit of information out about the uh, early access beta. Uh, do know that that all that information that was in the early access beta was early access and beta. Uh, now we're just early access. Uh, so uh, if you are looking forward to it, if you're wanting to uh, come hang out and see what what the game is about, please come hang out by all means. It's it's awesome. Uh, if you want to uh, be able to. Uh, buy the game now it is out it's in early access uh and with all the the caveats and and 
everything that early access comes with. Uh, so, but with that, uh, I know I, I tried to hit for about this time frame, so I don't want to run over. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut this one down for now. If you guys have enjoyed it, please go. There'll be a, a link in the description for you to go check the game out on Steam. Uh, there'll be uh, all the links for, for my socials. Contact me. Uh, if you like the video, please like it. If you uh, if you're not subscribed and you want to see some more of this info, more of these uh, these videos, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Oh look, we have friends. I was gonna end, but then we got friends. No, come back, friend. I want to be friends. Come back. I want to be a friend. You have do you have chewy insights? Chewy's insides are delicious. All right. So on, on that bombshell, we will, we will end it off here. You guys be safe and we will definitely talk to y'all soon.